Well, hello, fellow YouTubers. Aeon Fluxa here. <laughs> Long time no see, eh? So, I don't know, it's been a minute. Um, about to move camps again. <laughs> Sound like a broken record, right? Anyways, um, I'll just start off with the good news. Um, this whole summer's been pretty brutal. Uh, each one has been, has its own it's third summer in, uh, my third summer in, uh, here in Slab City. And, um, each one's had its own bite to it, I suppose. Uh, its own particular bite. Anyways, uh, let's just start it off. Here we go. The bus finally, I, uh, finally said screw, starting to camp, and I started working on my bus. It took me eight, or it took me ten days to two weeks to do what you see behind me. I'll turn it around right now. It's a little, it's a little messy. Went to brawl yesterday, and I had a bunch of people, so it's not too messy, but it's, you know, whatever. You, you, you'll get the gist of what I've done. All right, here we go. Walk through it slowly. Right here is just still open yet. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Um, oh, this will be the hallway. Yeah, right here coming in to the door. There you go, there's the stairs. Let me just turn back. All right, check it out. All right, so we walk in, stairs, da 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 da. Immediate hard left. Here's the wall and the windows. Immediate hard left, that'll be the hallway. Right here, we got a kitchen table, chairs, you know, bus seat. There's the driver's seat. Bus seat turned backwards, so it's probably gonna stay. Um, yeah, anyways, so we got the table. And another little bus seat at the end there. I got chairs in the back too, so you get seats like, what, uh, what two, four, six, at least eight, eight folk. And then here on the left, four windows back. Uh, I got my oven and stove. Got that all put in, it's awesome. Sink and counters and drawers and whatnot. Pretty darn cool. And then behind the bus seat here was this is where the counters normally starts but it's just some stuff there right now then the counters gonna come you know across there back through here as you get a better view there is uh, gonna be a wall there we can see the aluminum studs there will be a wall right there too and the, on the exact opposite side uh, but that will be a wall of uh, the the glass bricks you guys seen those right those glass bricks are pretty cool collected a bunch of them and hang on a second here I should have checked these before. Are the pièces de résistance, là? Oh, yes. The pièces de résistance is... Oh, come on. They're not completely in or finished yet, but look what I scored. They are French doors with beveled glass. Oh, they are beautiful with brass handles. Oh, it is awesome. Some days sun shines into here hits that beveled glass and boom rainbows sparkle the whole bus it is awesome it is pretty cool all right here we go yeah another drawers whatnot this is just the recycling other stuff i don't know yeah i haven't got it all fit together i'm living in it to see what's practical and what's not all right here we go the past the french doors oh so yeah let me go back here a minute so the doors open to the bedroom is we're in the kitchen, so the doors open to the bedroom, and, um, and also will be the doors that will be on the left hand side here will be a shower, you know, with those uh, glass bricks, whatever, and those small wall glass bricks. And so, right behind this door, so when this door shuts, it'll, it'll be, a, or when it opens for the bedroom, it'll be shutting the door for the shower. Same on this side but for a composting toilet. I do have a porcelain toilet I could put in. All I'm lacking is a uh, wax wax ring, but I don't think I wanna have a porcelain toilet on my bus. I, yeah, I, and yeah, same thing. This door opens for the, for the bedroom. It closes to where the toilet will be. It's not there now, it's with the clock. It's, some clock is sitting there. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, and then here's the wheel wells. You know, there was right behind the wheel wells and stuff. Um, uh, on top of the wheel wells, I'm not sure right now. I'm just putting this, you know, a trunk that's there for now, whatever it works. I have my dresser over here. Um, and then, yeah, and then right behind those wheel wells is a little small lofted bed. You know, I thought about putting a Murphy bed here. It might fold up to the sea. It might, I, it's like just short by like six inches. So if I had a smaller, this is a twin or a, Yes, yeah, is a twin. If I had a single, it'll it would work, doing a Murphy style bed. But 
doing it sideways, not long lengthways on the hinges. Um, yeah, and then I got a little, this is Blue's little area. There's you know, storage down there for now, my guitar. Um, but yeah, normally this is Blue's little area. This is his like room underneath. He loves to be uh, underneath anywhere I'm sleeping. He likes to be underneath it. So yeah, that's his like little room. And then I took the back wall and I, I took the back wall that used to be back there above the door and I pulled it forward. So now my bedroom ends here and in the back I'll have a garage. That's the last two windows of the bus. Those are really, really extra long ones too. So it's, it's kind of nice and uh, spacey in there. So yeah, I got my water tanks in there right now. Hopefully soon I'm gonna go and uh, uh, I had pumps, but <laughs> gotta buy more. Stuff walks away out here like crazy how stuff grows legs out here, man. Real quick. So yeah, anyway, that's my garage back here. It's, you know, I cleaned it out because I'm gonna be putting shelves in and stuff, some of my tools and whatnot, you know. And then, eventually, that will be this bedroom here. Oh, this is my headboard. It's kind of cool. Eventually, and what I'm thinking about is having this my shower changing room where my wardrobe is and stuff like that or my whatever my clothes and then up here going through the uh, emergency hatch the skylight whatever i want to um yeah this is my roof rack i want to put like a um trying to build a pop-up up here and this would be like my bedroom up here you know just have a bed up here and that's it you know but yeah, I want to pull the pop up so when I'm traveling, I can be it'll be down. But when I'm set up, when I'm you know camping, I can pop pop it up and it'll be six feet, six plus up here, you know. And then uh, do the same thing up front, up there too. Yeah, I got all my metal out here now, measuring it and stuff, cutting it, drilling holes. All right. So yeah, that's just the rough, the rough. Uh, what it's gonna, what I'm trying to build it into. Um, I haven't gone with the walls on these sides yet because I still need to take out the ceiling to uh, I'm thinking about I might have a little bit of money coming so I think I'll be able to buy that uh, spray foam insulation yeah here's the garage here here's the back of that wall and then now uh, studs batteries generator cooking generator but yeah um I can't, forgot what I was talking about um, See what happens when you do 420 early in the morning. Ooh, yeah, these are all my chainsaw blades and chain rings I've been collecting. I'm going to weld those at the side of the bus. <laughs> or maybe even uh, just screw them on. I don't know. Yeah, see, there we go. There's the start of the roof rack now. Uh, yeah, um, it's been a 25-year dream of mine to change any diesel... In, in a diesel engine into uh, waste veggie oil so that's another thing I might be looking into really like seriously now that I uh, might have enough money to do it so all right here we go um, this is the camp here's my box truck a little awning deal um, yeah tire wall stuff like that anyway so that was the good news <laughs> bad news uh, I had a friend of mine yeah I put this, this is all new too. tire wall over there Bad news is uh, a few months ago, some people tried throwing Molotov cocktails at my bus. Well, it succeeded, but I put it out, it was fine. Unfortunately, that happened again recently, but not at my bus, it was at my, uh, my camp mates. I have another camp mate. They uh, torched his RV. His girlfriend was inside, she had, to be, she had to be woken up and she could have died. And uh, yeah, she had to be pulled out of the RV. Um, and then a day later, somebody came, probably the same person, and torched it again. And a lot of my stuff perished, a lot of the supplies, a lot of the, all my hairs are here's all my clothes. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's shreds. Um, the yurt that was all, the, the trees and whatnot, those are all, those are all, yeah, this all got burnt also. Oh, look. Now my tree that's sticking up in the air, my burnt out tree, it, it looks like it's giving you the finger. It's like, fuck you, man. You can't burn me twice. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Do Ma. I not love you or what? Thanks, Ma. You're welcome. Want to go on camera? Uh, just pass yeah. it through. I got to go get a cigarette.
Okay, all right. I love you, son. Yeah, yeah. Oh. All right, folks. Um, that was my neighbor. Adidas. What's up? Backup. Yeah, yeah. When you're on your way back, I'll roll, I'll roll one. Oh, uh, yeah. And then there's some more supplies up there and whatnot. But yeah, this is all. Oh, the poor tree too. That little shrub and pruning it and, and loving it and watering it and. Oh, and it got it got toasted. It's not dead, but it'll survive. A lot of these trees and stuff out here are tough as nails. And my yurt didn't, and just started the reciprocal roof with the palm fronds. See the palm fronds there too. Yeah, I just started the reciprocal roof on it and stuff. Um, the house I haven't <laughs> haven't touched in a while. I just slab sometimes, man. It's, you try to organize and try to plan stuff, but no, it doesn't doesn't work that way. It's it's when the slabs want you to do what you're doing or. <laughs> It, it, it takes, it slabs, it's not, not the people in it, or it's just the, the it's aura of the city itself or whatever, it's just kind of, yeah, <laughs> this is a very different life out here, definitely a very different life, whole different ball game. Anyways, yeah, some more supplies, tools, whatever, blah, blah, this box truck I got, um, but yeah, it was sad, I mean, yeah, my fence, even though it was already burnt, <laughs> Uh, you got burnt more, so I gotta redo a lot of that. A lot of tents, a lot of, yeah, the motorcycle didn't get it though. Um, a lot of my wood supplies over there too, I just got those, just did a job for somebody. That didn't get hit. But yeah, a lot of, a lot of other stuff did. Oh, all my water, so all my water, anything that has to do with water was underneath that tree. I just moved my tanks, those blue tanks I just showed you in the back of the bus, I just moved them. Luckily I did, I was, those would have been gone too. You know, they're, they're cheap, but when you're out here and you're living in the 